In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you some tips for applying a mask to a title. This is a new feature for owners of PowerDirector 20 or subscribers to PowerDirector 365. We'd like to show you this technique applied in the following example, and then we'll show you some tips about doing this yourself. I have my video on track number one. Let's go to our title. I can click on the T or press the F7 function key. And we'll take the generic My Title and drag it down to track number two. And we'll lengthen it to be at least as long as our video here. And then we need to get into the Title Designer. I'll double click or I can press the F2 function key to get into the Title Designer. We're going to change the content of this to be the word sunrise and then we'll change the font family to impact. I'll leave the the size about the same. We're going to change the font face. We have a new option under color. I'll click the down arrow, go to gradient color and I have my new gradient option on the left. We'll use that. We'll click on the black box on the left get to our color selector. Let's do something in the orange family and we'll do the one on the right and we'll do something in the yellow family and then we'll add another orange on the left side and so I want to make one other change. We'll add a border to it and I like we can go in decimals now rather than whole stops and we'll make it maybe about a 0.6 and click on OK. Now I have my title and my background. Let's move the title. We're going to make the title appear as though it's coming from behind the mountains. And so we'll move it up to a, a place approximately here. And that looks pretty good. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to do some masking on my title text. In order to do that, I need to have the title highlighted. Then I click on the Tools button above the timeline and choose Mask Designer. Now I'm going to create a custom mask for this title. To do it well, I'm going to click on my magnifying so I can see this better. And now we'll choose the right option, which is Create a Custom Selection Mask. You notice it dimmed out my title, so now I'm going to make a mask and we're going to follow the outline of the mountains cutting out part of the bottom letters of title and I'll fast forward this and so I have my mask. I'll cl simply click on OK when I'm done and now we have the word sunrise behind the mountains but let's make the word sunrise rise as the sun actually would. How do we do that? we're going to keyframe it. So I'm going to go back into my title designer. Let's say we want the sunrise to be at that location, maybe about four seconds in. I'll set a position keyframe. I'm going to move back to the very beginning. I'll set another position keyframe. I'm going to use my down arrow and just lower that below the mountains with the mask and click on OK. And now when I play my video, we have the word sunrise rise as the sun would behind the mountain. Now one thing you have to be careful of when you're using a title mask is you want it around something stable, not something that's in motion, because anything in motion would require a mask for every single frame. And this tool doesn't do that. It does it for a single frame. So you can't use it around something that is moving or it will look rather odd. But it's a nice technique that you can apply in your production of video in CyberLink PowerDirector.